If you want to know more about what other factors can impact latency in your games, or just more about what it is I'm testing here, check out the first video in this series on Rainbow Six Siege. I'll link it in the cards for you. Right, let's take a look at latency in CS2. In general, CS2 is still quite a work in progress, so Valve may change or add settings that can change the results here. And as always, uh, this is the performance from my system, a Ryzen 9 7940HS RTX 4060 laptop machine specifically, so your mileage may vary. Now settings wise, we have the usual presets, very high, high, medium and low, plus Nvidia Reflex and AMD FSR all to play around with. Starting on very high and working our way down, that comes out to a pretty dreadful 27 milliseconds of end-to-end -end latency on average. For context, the high preset drops 5 milliseconds off the top to bring that down to 21.9 milliseconds. That's still pretty high, but certainly better. And let's face it, you weren't playing CS2 for its compelling visuals. The medium preset offers a very significant drop. In fact, it basically halves the latency down to 11.2 milliseconds. That's a huge difference. Like, how do you cut the input lag clean in half? Well, if we take a look at the FPS difference, you might see uh, a trend of why. On the high preset, this machine was clocking in 249 FPS average. On medium, it hit just shy of 400. How, you might ask? Well, if we take a look at the settings page on the high preset, you'll find that Fidelity FX Super Resolution is disabled. Now, if we switch to medium, you'll see that it's now enabled and on the quality preset. Bearing in mind that the, the fact that this display I'm using here is a 240 hertz panel, the fact that enabling FSR and lowering a couple of the settings can still half the latency is incredible. And a uh, mirror to the results that I saw in Rainbow Six Siege, AMD really has made some special sauce here. Seeing as there is such a high difference between high and medium, you kind of expect low to bring the same sorts of gains. Sadly, that just isn't the case. Low only drops around half a millisecond off, down to 10.5 milliseconds in total. So for the, the base presets alone, there's your spread. Medium and low both work perfectly well, with basically the same performance anyway, uh, though there are a few more combinations I would like to try out before we finish. First is enabling NVIDIA Reflex. On the low presets, low with reflex and boost does nothing. <laughs> In fact, it makes the average worse by 0.1 milliseconds. If, for some insane reason, you wanted to play CS2 on the very high preset, Reflex does a good job, bringing the average to just under what the high preset result gave at 21.2 milliseconds, down from 27 milliseconds without Reflex. But, like, don't use very high? Just, just don't. Moving back to the low presets, I thought it'd be interesting to change the FSR settings to stick it on ultra performance up from the balanced mode that the low preset normally uses. That drops the result by 1.5 milliseconds, and at least at 1600p, it doesn't harm the image, image quality too badly, and so is a perfectly usable setting and the best result so far. If you're wondering what VSync does to your latency, keep in mind that this is a 240Hz display, meaning it's one of the faster panels on the market, yeah, that ain't great either. Even using the low preset with FSR on ultra performance, it jumps to double at 18.6 milliseconds. That's dreadful. So obviously, don't use VSync if you care about low latency. The last thing I wanted to try was dropping the resolution down to 1200p to see if that made any difference. Surprisingly, it didn't. The average did drop a touch more down to 8.7 milliseconds, but it's hardly a worthwhile change even on this 4060 laptop chip. 
Some systems might react better to that change, but at least on my system here, it doesn't make much of a difference. Although, I think I know why. If I stick up the FPS results from those tests, you might see a bit of a pattern. Despite running the FPS underscore max zero command on startup, as I do for all CS and CSGO testing, CS2 seems to be limited to around 415 FPS or so on average, at least on this system. If anyone more familiar with CS in general has any uh, sort of suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comments down below and try and test them out. But still, the lack of FPS improvements coupled with the lack of pipeline optimizations available, i.e. Reflex does nothing on low, means that you don't see any major improvements. Still, seeing the difference from just turning FSR on at all all is such a big jump that it seems worth doing regardless of what settings you want to play at. So to summarize, the low and medium presets are about the same, both in performance and in latency. Setting FSR to ultra performance does net you a small advantage, so it's probably worth doing that too. Dropping the resolution doesn't seem to do much, at least on my system, but feel free to play around at your native resolution and you can be pretty confident in knowing you're getting pretty much the best experience from CS2, at least from a latency perspective. If you have any questions or suggestions for other things I should test, either games or settings in games, please do let me know in the comments down below. I would love to improve these videos and to make more on different games to suit whatever you're playing right now. And otherwise, that's kind of it. If you want to see these videos and be notified of them when they do come out, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon. And if you want to be able to test this stuff yourself or perhaps get your other favorite reviewers to test it too, they can pick up an OSRTT or in this case OSLTT units at osrtt.com. I make them literally in my house just downstairs from this table and I ship them worldwide. Otherwise, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, we'll see you all in the next video.